You feel a You cast the aura spell. You find a diamond studded brooch, a healing potion, and fifteen gold crowns. The jewelry looks truly lovely on you. It gives you just that certain je ne sais quoi. Pine trees grow in profusion in this cool climate. In winter, they needle the deciduous trees mercilessly. You are in the northern part of the forest. Through the trees to the west, you can see the crypts of the cemetery. Grey rocks litter the ground everywhere, reminders of glaciers long since past. It is one of the dreaded Chernovi wizards, masters of dark magic. They are rumored to live long beyond their normal span. This one certainly looks as though it has. Chernovi aren't much inclined towards this touchy-feely stuff. They're more into deadly spelly. You grab a... Order has evaporated. You finally managed to dispel and defeat the Chernovi wizard. Score! You find a few gold crowns and a number of copper kopecks. You are flying in the very source of all magic. You are filled with power and the knowledge of how to use it. You create flowers dancing around you. Trees fill their branches with magical fruit as you touch them. You dance in a circle and the very ground itself radiates peace and harmony. You sing the message of your heart and the magic echoes around you a song of love and happiness. Then you realize that it is not you doing this. It was someone else back in time. You hear that voice calling you again. Darkness surrounds you, eats at you. The voice calls out again and you are afraid. It calls from the center of the darkness, drawing you nearer and nearer. The darkness sucks at you pulling you towards the voice as it flays all warmth and life from you. You scream! You gradually wake, shaking off the shreds of dreams that cling to your memory. Thank you for returning my great-grandfather's sword. My family honor has at last been restored. Good day today, Paladin. You tell the Burgermeister he's welcome. He seems to think you're understating the case a little. 
I will never be able to thank you enough for giving me back my honor. You tell the Burgermeister how the sword glowed when you first found it in the Wraith's hoard. A sword like that is only as magical as its user. You are a most impressive man. I hated my grandfather Piotr all my life. Now that my hatred is over, my heart is light. I was told that only a paladin could use that sword. I did not believe such a story. Now I know that it is true, and that my grandfather was a true paladin, as are you. I thought I didn't believe in honor. I guess I lied to myself. Honor is something I do value in others, and in myself as well. It has just been hanging on the wall for all these years. I am pleased that someone will make good use of it. My mother's father despised Pyotr and would speak no good of him. I never heard my grandmother speak of him but once. When she was dying, my grandmother called me to her side. She said that I had to believe that Pyotr was a good and honorable man. I thought she was wrong all these years. Good luck. It's a garlic souffle, Mordavian style. It has been my custom to sometimes go over to the center of the town and sit by the staff, and I fell asleep there the other afternoon, and I had the most wonderful dream. I dreamed my daughter was playing in the flowers, uh, the daffodils, actually. I held her in my arms, and she said that you brought her there. She said you should visit the staff when night falls. And then the dream faded, and uh, I awoke. Oy, it was so good to hold my child again, even if it was only in a dream. Still, you could try to visit the staff some night. The dream uh, could have been important. You tell Bella about some of your adventures in Shapir and Tana. Mordavir certainly needs all the heroes it can get. And it does seem to me like you are the very, very best. My grandmother told me about the paladin once. The paladin Piotr came here with Irana. Yeah, in fact, uh, Piotr is supposed to be Dmitri, the burgomeister's grandfather. Although my grandmother was not very clear about that matter. Oy, I often have dreams I can see Tanya again. Oy, I know she must be alive somewhere. I can feel it. Bella, enough! I am sorry, but Bella cannot accept that our child is dead. It is you who are wrong, Yuri. You have given up hope. We will speak of this later, Bella. Why don't you go see what's burning in the kitchen? Tanya was my beautiful daughter. She was lured away from here for night two years ago, and no one has seen her since. She is gone forever, Bella. No, I will never believe that. I know someday she will return, and my dreams will come true. My mother used to go to the garden or the staff whenever she was unhappy. She said that the staff always made her feel safe and warm. I have always felt such feelings there as well, I might add. My grandmother used to say that the staff was from the mage Arana. 
that it was Iran's final gift to Mordavia when she died. I only know that you should visit there at night sometime. Perhaps you will have a pleasant dream there. I'm fine, thank you very much. I just wanted to tell you about my dream because I was certain you would know of such things. You know, dreams have important meanings, right? Bella, he does not need to listen to such nonsense. It is for him to decide if it is nonsense or not, Yuri. Oh, I had a dream last night about my lost daughter, Tanya. I awoke suddenly and had difficulty getting back to sleep. Other than that, I am well. Two years ago, Tanya was stolen from her bedroom one night. There was no sign of what happened to her. There were rumors that the gypsies had stolen Tanya away, but when I went to their camp, I found no sign of her. Then, the gravedigger mentioned that several times he saw a huge monster near her window at night. That is all I know of the matter. We both miss our daughter very deeply. There are supposed to be Domovoi in most houses in Mordavia. They bring good luck as long as you don't try to harm them. The Domovoi are creatures of legends, although I uh, have never seen one. In the folk tales of this region, we have always spoken of those beautiful maidens who seek to drown whomever comes near. I do not know if the Rizalki are real or not, but they make a good story, hmm? We do not like to speak of such things in Mordavia. It is considered bad luck. There have been always rumors of vampires around here, though. The gypsy friend returns. You're na party vatnak. Welcome. Again, the cards are prepared, and they shall reveal what they will. The woman of loving shall be revealed. What may we now learn of her distant past? This is the sign of magic and creativity. She, as the others who influence your life, has the power. She is the one to whom magic has been the strongest influence upon her life. She is a master weaver of spells. Now, what next can we learn? The Ace of Cups is the sign of overflowing joy and happiness. This is a woman who uses her power joyfully, giving gracefully and lovingly to others. Ah, she is generous and loving, and she has shown this through her use of magic. This woman gives from her heart. What now can we learn of the more recent past? Ah, your gentlewoman too has been bound by something. A crisis has occurred. A defeat or imprisonment by someone. Now what more can we learn? This is a sign of balanced force, a stalemate. 
of things not coming to a resolution. That with which the woman came in conflict has also been held in check. They were locked in battle, or they were both defeated in the past. What then of the present? Reveal the next card. The hanged man is the symbol of sacrifice. The conflict in the past required this woman to give up something of great value. She has paid some great price, but the outcome is uncertain. Let us see the next card. Alas! This card shows a tomb and someone at final rest. The woman's sacrifice was exile, or possibly even death. Yet her sacrifice still affects you. Somehow I cannot believe that her sacrifice was in vain. Now, let us see that of her possible future. The Dark One. This is the first time in these readings that the darkness which lies waiting has been active rather than merely a major influence. Somehow, this woman is bound by the darkness. Whether she has been subverted or destroyed, I cannot tell. But something remains, or else there would be no reading. I think that this powerful woman battled with the Dark One. She was defeated, or perhaps sacrificed herself to prevent it from entering this world. But what will the outcome of all this be? You! Then you are not only a friend to the gypsies, but a great hero as well. Oh, your destiny shall affect the world, my young friend. You will determine the fate of this woman. You shall face the Dark One. Reveal the final influence upon this reading. So the darkness still covers all. I had hoped that you might be spared, that you might not have to face the darkness. But that is the way of the hero, is it not? To face that which others fear and dread. Go now, learn what you can of the Dark One. The more you know of your enemy, the greater the chances you have against it. The cards have spoken, and so have I. You say goodbye. Turn ye safe.